In addition to some proactive ways that you can train your dog to not resource guard um, the muzzle, another thing you can do is some antecedent arrangements to help prevent the resource guarding behavior from appearing in the first place. Um, one of those options is to consider uh, where you're delivering your reinforcement. So here's the muzzle. Now for some dogs, placing peanut butter or cream cheese or baby food on the inside of the muzzle is a wonderful way to encourage them to start to get their snout in the muzzle, lick the food around, they still get those positive associations with the muzzle and then you can gradually fade out the lure and start having them bonk their nose in the muzzle for cookies. For other dogs, um, the act of putting something really valuable on the muzzle has now turned the muzzle into a pretty good resource guarding object. Um, you know, you can think about you're kind of turning it into a stuffed Kong or some really valuable bully stick. So for those dogs, I would recommend um, a couple of things. First, don't smear the inside of the muzzle with food because there's a chance that what you're doing is you're increasing the chances for that resource guarding behavior to occur. What you can do instead is you can always lure the dog's nose through the muzzle like I've shown in previous videos and deliver the lure from your hands through there. The other thing you could do is if you're either working on targeting or shaping your dog's nose to go into the muzzle, you can mark the behavior and then feed away from the muzzle so that the reinforcement, the valuable part, the food, is not right by the muzzle. Um, another benefit of this is it gets the dog away from the muzzle so that you can pick up the muzzle and reset for your next repetition. Um, again, these are antecedent arrangements uh, designed to prevent the guarding behavior from happening in the first place. Um, and something else to consider is the type of value of food that you're using. So for some dogs, um, you can use really high value food and the resource guarding isn't going to become an issue. For other dogs, let's say their favorite food in the world is peanut butter, and they really love peanut butter, and you use peanut butter when muzzle training and they have a tendency to resource guard, using that really high value food could potentially increase the chances of them guarding the muzzle. So again, in those cases, um, you may want to still stick with something really valuable, but maybe lower the value a little bit. I'm not saying drop all the way down to saltines and kibble, but do something that's maybe not at the top level of that dog's food hierarchy as far as value. And again, every dog is going to be different, so it's probably going to take some experimenting um, to figure out what food works best.